For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New Mexico seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 453, as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 453, a bill to take certain federal lands in Tennessee into trust for the benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Holland, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New Mexico. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks. Without and objection, it is so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is one of three federally recognized Cherokee tribes. Their ancestral homeland includes substantial parts of seven eastern states, including Tennessee. In 1979, the completion of the Teleco Dam by the Tennessee Valley Authority, the TVA, caused large areas of their ancestral lands along the Little Tennessee River to be flooded, covering many historic tribal sites. The Cherokee, the Cherokee can never recover these flooded lands, but there are other sites in the area that are in need of protection and preservation. H.R. 453 aids in this cause by transferring approximately 76 acres of historically significant lands from the TVA's management to the United States to be held in trust for the Eastern Band of Cherokee. Placing these lands into trust would give the Eastern Band greater control over their historic homelands, as well as the opportunity to memorialize the history and culture of the Cherokee people. I support H.R. 453, and I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of this bill, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from Mexico reserves. Uh, the gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Uh, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is a relatively small tribe located in the Great Smoky Mountains of western North Carolina. The tribe was opposed to the construction of the Teleco Dam and after its completion in 1979, worked with the Tennessee Valley Authority regarding impacted areas that were of historic significance to the tribe. The tribe currently manages most of these properties under permanent easements granted in the mid-1980s as a result of an informal agreement with TVA. This bill would permanently transfer these properties, totaling approximately 96 acres along the Little Tennessee River and the Teleco Reservoir, in trust status for the tribe. Gaming pursuant to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act would be prohibited. Most of the parcels to be placed in trust under the bill will be used for memorializing and interpreting the history of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. The remaining parcels will be used for recreational trails. I want to commend the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Fleshman, for his continued hard work on this legislation, which passed the House last Congress by an overwhelming vote of 383 to 2. I hope the Senate will take the opportunity to pass this worthy legislation this Congress. I urge adoption of the measure and reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas reserves. The gentlewoman from Mexico is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I have no further requests for time and would inquire whether my colleague has any remaining speakers on their side. I have one speaker. I reserve the, the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from New Mexico reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield four minutes to the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Fleshman. The gentleman from Tennessee is recognized for four minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of my bill, H.R. 453, and I thank both my Democratic and Republican colleagues for their great strong words of encouragement and support on this long overdue bill. Mr. Speaker, the great state of Tennessee gets its name from the historic Overhill Cherokee village called Tennessee. This is located in present day Monroe County, Tennessee, a county, one of my 11 counties, which I proudly represent in this, the People's House. Tennessee served as the capital of the Cherokee Nation from as early as 1721 until 1730. As a result of several misguided federal policies, the Cherokee and other tribes were forcibly removed from Tennessee and surrounding states, including North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, and Virginia. 
This tragic period in American history led to the infamous Trail of Tears. My bill, the Eastern Band Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act, returns important historical land sites back to the Eastern Band of Cherokees. Now, I want the members of this House to understand that this was a promise that was made by the people of Tennessee and TVA to the Cherokee decades ago. This is not something new. The promise was made and the promise was not kept. Many of the Eastern Band remained in East Tennessee. In other words, when this forced removal came, uh, they refused to go. They hid and then they came back. And fortunately today, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is a proud uh, Cherokee Nation in my district, and this 76.1 acres is their sacred homeland. This needs to be returned to them. Uh, my district also inclo includes uh, several areas where Sequoia was and still is honored by the Cherokee. As we go to vote, we see her likeness, her image, her bust here in this capital, but that is something that the Cherokee still want to honor on this land in Tennessee. So what is so important? This is so important, the TVA, the United States of America, the great state of Tennessee, and the Cherokee have all come together, the Eastern Band, to right a long-term wrong. And we will honor and cherish Cherokee history, Cherokee traditions with this bill in Monroe County, Tennessee. And in closing, I want to say this. Uh, at a time where uh, this House, perhaps even this nation, uh, is divided on a lot of issues, I have received overwhelming bipartisan support in this House for this bill uh, from Republicans and Democrats and up the hall in the United States Senate. Marsha Blackburn, our Senator, Senator Alexander, also Senator Tom Tillis from North Carolina, Representatives Phil Rowe, Mark Meadows and Tom Call have all helped us. So without further ado, Mr. Speaker, I urge prompt consideration and support of my bill. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. I would again like to commend the gentleman from Tennessee for his hard work on this bill. The Trail of Tears actually passes through my district in Arkansas. And again, this is an, a long overdue bill and I, I urge passage of it in the House, and I urge our friends in the Senate to take the bill up and pass it as well. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas yields back the balance of his time. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I also um, wholeheartedly support this legislation, and, and I urge my colleagues to support it as well, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from New Mexico yields back the balance of her time. The question is, Will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 453, as amended? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and while it, without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.